What's up guys, you're back with Technic and today we have another Antutu benchmark run between the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro, Oppo Find X2 Pro and Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, all rocking Snapdragon 865 processing chips. The Xiaomi has the lowest amount of RAM over here with the version that I have of 8 gigs of RAM. We also have the latest updates and drivers available for the Snapdragon. We have a 90 hertz panel and we're going to be running Game Booster in order to boost our Antutu. The Oppo Find X2 Pro comes with 12 gigs of RAM. That's the minimum spec you can get. Also updated to the latest color OS. We have a 120 Hertz panel. We're gonna keep things at full HD plus since that's native on the Xiaomi. Enable high performance mode and use game space to go into and to version 8.2.9. The Samsung, I have the Snapdragon version over here, 12 gigs of RAM. We're gonna be updating our software as we did with the previous ones. 120 Hertz refresh rate panel. We're gonna keep things to full HD plus and we are gonna enable high performance mode and focus on performance in Game Booster and launch it from Game Launcher. Guys, this is Technic and without further ado, let's go. We're gonna start here with taking a look at the hardware configurations of all devices. Feel free to hit pause here if you wanna see more details. Then we're gonna check out the battery at the start over here. So they're all different percentages here, but we'll compare that to the end result. The hottest one so far in degrees Celsius is the Xiaomi and the lowest being the Samsung over there. Same case with CPU degrees Celsius at the start, the Xiaomi being the hottest and the Samsung being the lowest. Lowest, it will be interesting to see how that stacks up at the end. We're gonna start the test here with 100% real time. We'll speed up to 2400% later on so that I don't keep you guys here all day. But we're gonna test out the Adreno 650 GPU chipsets in all of these phones here. That is the graphics department of the Snapdragon 865 processing chip here. All of them are running pretty similarly in time. I think the Xiaomi is going slightly faster than the other two devices here, but all of them seem really, really smooth. You can't see too much of a difference between the 90 hertz panel on the Xiaomi and the 120 hertz panels on the Oppo and the Samsung. Once again, the Xiaomi is going slightly faster here. We're gonna shoot to 2400% now after this little alien hits the camera and jump back to 100% real time. Checking out this boot and this wonderful scenery over here, testing that Adreno GPU chip once more to test out how smooth these phones are when looking at some rocks, I guess. We're gonna shoot things up again 2400% and go to the Terracotta Soldier I've mentioned before, this is my favorite part of the test. The most graphic demanding part of the test, that's why you can see some jitteriness. It, it is kind of jittery on all of the devices. You would expect it to be really smooth, running the seven nanometer plus technology chipset from Qualcomm over here. It's not as smooth as you would want, though it is smoother than any other device you will ever see around. These are pretty much the three top performing phones on the market right now. They're all doing a superb job. They look really smooth at their high refresh rate panels, all at full HD plus resolution. Remember the Samsung is either or. So either we have 120 Hertz at full HD plus resolution or 60 Hertz at QHD plus resolution where the Oppo can run QHD plus resolution and 120 Hertz, but we've enabled all of them at just full HD plus to keep things even with the Xiaomi since the max resolution we have on the Xiaomi is indeed full HD plus resolution. We're gonna speed things up here and then test out those wonderful Hertz panels when scrolling through the test over here. Well, Antutu does its own thing, but it does indeed show a little bit of what's going on with the frames per second that you see on these phones when it comes to scrolling. As you can see that the 120 Hertz on the Oppo is slightly quicker than that seen on the Xiaomi, though with slight more jitteriness than you see on the Xiaomi. The Xiaomi seems a little bit smoother. The Samsung is pretty much on par with the Oppo. Speed things up again, and we're gonna go to the final results here with the Xiaomi coming in first over there. Well, the hottest phone in battery is is the Xiaomi, though it did not add the most amount of degrees in Celsius. That was the Oppo adding 7.8 degrees in Celsius. And the Oppo and Xiaomi both lost 5% in battery, where the Samsung just lost 3% in battery and also being the coolest phone in the bunch. When it comes to CPU, the Samsung once again was the coolest with CPU. It only added six degrees, where the other two phones added eight degrees Celsius. I'm really impressed with that. Samsung's cooling is actually doing a really good job. Yeah, first place, we have 590,000 points on the Xiaomi, lower than previous Sansu 2 tests I've done. 578,000 on the Oppo in second place, and 5 534,000 on the Samsung in third place. That's actually increased from the last video I did benchmarking the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. It actually got under 500,000 the last time, but because drivers were updated with the recent software update and the Antutu version 8.29 has been established to work better with Snapdragon 865 processing chip devices, it did do a better job. We have the Oppo just 2.1% worse than that of the Xiaomi and the Samsung just 9.5% worse than that of the Xiaomi, but we have the best CPU on the Xiaomi, the best memory and user experience on the Oppo and the best GPU on the Samsung. And until next time guys, this is Technic.